Hi, my name is Sam Price, the Crypto Lifer. Welcome to the channel. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and please hit that like and hit a comment. I love reading the comments. Today, I'm going to break down the macro technical analysis for Bitcoin. Total, total three, Bitcoin dominance, Tether dominance, the DXY, the S&P futures, the NASDAQ futures, and another chart. So stay tuned for that as we jump on in right away. Nasty dump for Bitcoin the last few days. We called it here on the channel. We kept telling you things looked bearish. The second we started closing a tweezer top here on the weekly, it suggested we were flipping further to the downside. And that's exactly what happened. When we watched this, you can see we made a bearish engulfing candle, and then we were to close a below support at 55,000. That told me we were likely going to come down and test this bunch of liquidity here at 52. And it suggests that today we very well might. Right now we're holding 54,000, but I don't see how we don't come and close a candle here. We close a candle below that. $47,000 is on the table. If you go to the left here, you can see resistance. Resistance, which is becoming supported, 52 and $47,000. So another thing is when you lose the daily 200 MA, which I talked about, you usually fall down to the two-day 200 MA. If we end up losing that, we will then go to the three-day 200 MA, and that's going to take us somewhere between, at that time, probably between forty-four and $47,000. I'm not saying we're guaranteed to pop. Could we get a reversal? How do we reverse? It would be the daily, but right now it doesn't look good. Even the daily losing key support zone. So I'm watching the weekly. I'm waiting for weekly to come to its next support at 52,000. To me, 52K is basically 90% uh, likely, although anything is possible. But I see more downside for Bitcoin next week when we do this analysis. I say we're either on our way lower or digging our way out of a pretty nasty drop. Um, and that's what I'm going to stick to here on the charts. Total, same thing, although you're holding more of a, a line here for total. But once you lose that, that trend line, this chop here, you drop down to your next area at $1.63 trillion. Ever since we lost that $2.5 trillion, honestly, you know, almost an entire trillion dollars has left the market, about $680 billion. billion. So, um, and then if we came down here, it would really hit that trillion dollar mark. It suggests we do go lower if we can't get a bounce sooner. Uh, right now, the weekly doesn't look amazing. The daily, they're all oversold. You would expect some type of bounce eventually, but we're losing key levels. Like right here, if we close a daily candle below this next spot at 1.85, I just don't see how we don't come to daily support at $1.65 trillion. So we're looking for a bounce here on these markets. I'm not seeing it. I'm just not. Um, even the three-day looks to roll over with bearish engulfing candles. And again, when you lose the daily 200 MA, it looks like you're going to come down to the two-day 200 MA, and that's very close. If we lose that, I'm going to start eyeing uh, us to fall down to the three-day, which is $1.63 trillion. Total market cap of all the altcoins is a little more beat down and closer to where its bottom was, right? We had this beautiful bottom. The altcoins erupted ever since, you know, basically April Fool's Day, April 1st. We've been on a massive dump to the downside. It was April Fool's Day, if you can believe it. And we've pulled back ever since. Usually there's a bigger move coming after a pullback. And you would suggest that I like that, you know, you're in this long-term flag here and very oversold with bullish divergence on the weekly. It does suggest that you're going to get a flip eventually here. But do we get more max pain? Like, do we get one more pump with a wick back up? I wouldn't want to see the altcoins lose the 200 MA on the weekly time frame. That's going to be one thing I'm watching the yellow. You lose that. I mean, it suggests that you can come to that point of control or at least test $440 uh, million, so billions, sorry, billion dollars. So uh, we do see some some trouble, though, right? And and it's not amazing for the altcoins. And that's a bearish engulfing candle in the weekly and, and suggesting to go lower. So, like, I don't see anything that could tell us we're going to reverse. The smaller time frames don't either. So if anything, I see we at least come and test the 200 MA on the weekly. We go from there. We lose that. I mean, that's going to spell some real bearishness for the alt. So you really want to see next week that we bounce off of the 200 MA there on the weekly time frame for the altcoins. Bitcoin dominance has been kind of slowly raging, but, but it rages for two reasons. When the market dumps hard, people run into Bitcoin because they think even if Bitcoin tanks 50%, right, back down to 30,000, it's not like your altcoin that will probably go down 90, probably, a, you know, basically 99%. So People run into altcoins as a safe haven when altcoin, well, into Bitcoin. People run into Bitcoin as a safe haven when altcoins dump. So you would expect this kind of slow trajectory to the upside, even though Bitcoin is dumping. You're like, why is Bitcoin dominance pumping? Because people are running out. This tells me that we're likely going to kind of maybe come down lower and bounce, but it says we're going to range. And, you know, probably sideways and even kind of slowly go up a little higher if we continue to get a meltdown 
in in the in the in Bitcoin. Tether dominance also has had a, a move up, but you can see bearish divergence, and it's suggesting that it wants to dump on the weekly. However, it continues to pump up a little bit. When I look at it on the daily, it also looks like it wants to make one leg up. So if we do get a dump for Bitcoin, it looks like we could go down to 50K, 49, but that, that might be it because then Tether dominance is going to range again, come back into the pocket. And I'd like to see this, even if it does come up, come back down and eventually drop out of this to the downside. There's a chance shoulder, head, right shoulder, and Tether dominance makes a move on out. Um, I would like to see it get back below the 200 MA on that daily time frame, you know, considering it broke out. And right now, you can even see Tether dominance in a bit of a, uh, you know, a rising. That's a flag. That's a symmet- uh, an ascending triangle that wants to continue up. So this also spells some pain for Bitcoin, at least for the next four or five days. So that's also what I'm seeing here on Tether dominance. The DXY did break out of this big channel. We called, remember, the shoulder head and right shoulder. We got the dump. However, Bitcoin dumped with it. We were waiting for this dump, and then we ended up Bitcoin dump with it. We didn't even get the love that we should have gotten the last few weeks. So a little bit of recovery for Bitcoin here and there, but nothing to write home about. We did hold the 200 MA on the weekly. As long as you hold that, you would get a bounce. You know, we have broken it before on the DXY, but right there, that's showing some strength. And if you look at the three-day chart, the three-day chart is showing signs of a bounce back up. I'm looking for just a bearish retest. You know, comes here, retest, and continues to dump. You don't want to see it break back inside. If it breaks back inside the pattern and breaks back above the, the, the three-day or even the daily 200 MA, that's what I'll be watching is the daily 200 MA. So if this comes back up, we want to see it get rejected by the bottom of the trend line or by 102.50. If you see this get back inside the pattern or break back above the daily 200 MA, that's going to be an issue for Bitcoin. Uh, not going to be good. What's my prediction? It looks like we are going to get a little bit of a move back up, but it, it does have selling pressure. Even if Bitcoin bounces and this goes, or Bitcoin could go sideways and this could dump, doesn't mean Bitcoin's going to pump just because this dumps because you're getting bricks, a brick sell-off right now and a lot of nations getting together to kind of, you know, push off the dollar's dominance. So we're seeing that. So don't get too excited when you see the, 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 the reference between the two and the correlation. Like you want to see this bear flag eventually break to the downside here though. S&P futures, we told you, was likely going to kind of consolidate. It did hit a resistance, bit of a double top. I'd like to see if it can kind of bounce and wick, you know, maybe the 200-day and bounce, but I'd like to see it hold this trend line. And then if it does that and they print money into the election, it's just going to be a little scare and we're going to continue this pump. Same thing for the NASDAQ, but the NASDAQ is a little steeper. I will be honest. It looks like it's more in a falling wedge flag than than the S&P. So, you know, less likely to kind of make it look like a flag, if you look at it on the daily, though, you can say, hey, bounce off the 200 MA. This one's about to bounce off its 200 MA. If you lose the 200 MA, that's going to be a short, probably down to about 1560. You bounce off of it, look for us to consolidate, and they turn the money printer on, and this thing gets sideways, and we get the move to the upside. Soul BTC still hanging in there, too, against Bitcoin, not doing too bad. If they've dumped together, right, that they, they should be somewhat relevant. So, um, But yeah, I've been watching this slowly. You want to see a bounce and get tight to keep that sole Bitcoin trade alive. Everybody, that is your update for BTC. I am bearish right now in a bear trade. I'm looking for 53,000 to go even lower. I want to look at 52K, even 50,000 by maybe Sunday or into Monday. So I see lower lows for Bitcoin. Um, I By the time we're here next week, it's likely we're at 50 or even $47,000. So. And I've been pretty bullish for when I start giving you bearish scenarios. That's what I see happening in the charts. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. You can find out more and tune in to my next macro analysis video every single Friday. Don't forget, on top of the live streams and the extra content that we create here at the Crypto Lifer Show. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you on the next video. God bless.